This tutorial will cover the rest of the basic vector tools. So up here we're going to open a new model. Generally we'd open a new project but for this vector tutorial a model will be suffice. So we'll go 200 by 200. So now we want to maximize our 2D and we want to split it up. Now as we've stated on the first one, we just created two polylines and centered them. One horizontal and one vertical. So here comes a vertical. And this horizontal. So now we got our work area split up. And we've left off with create polygons. So now we'll generate some polygons. Now by default that should be 8. So we'll go ahead and generate an 8-sided polygon. And as you can see, we have eight points on this polygon. We'll go ahead and create a ten point polygon. Change it up here in this window. Number of sides, ten. And we'll go ahead and create that. And as you can see, we have ten sides are ten straight spans of this polygon. And create one more fifteen sided polygon. So we'll go up here to this, plug in fifteen sides, go up here, and we have a 15 sided polygon. Now to see the nodes on this we just select it and we hit our hotkey N and that brings you into node edit mode. So now you see the center lines of the span and then the points of the, of the polygon. So now we'll go in and we'll create stars. So we click on stars. It defaults at six. So we'll just go ahead and make a six-sided star. Center. And you just pull your mouse in and it designates the length of the points. So say we want an eight-sided star. We'll go in number of points, put in eight. And pull it in. And we got an eight-sided star. And we'll go ahead and carve. We're going to create a 12 sided star so we'll go back to stars we we'll put 12 in that window number of points and we go ahead and make that star and pull it in and say we want it 45 degrees so we can plug in the angle here and then hit create and that aligns that at 45 degrees. So now we'll create arcs. There are three types of arcs you can create here. 
center start and end so if we go here to this this will be our center and then we go to our far right click that button and then pull it around and we have our arc from center start to end say we want to start end point on arc so we go to that end to that end and then we could raise it up or down as we want and that creates that type of arc and then the start and radius and in this feature you can see the arc being created so that's our start button from left to right puts our arc on the bottom and we can move the angle up or down and then click on that arc and that creates that now if we want the arc on top we go from right to left and it puts that arc on top and we can move that up or down as well and then click the mouse button again and that creates that arc so now we want to create some text and text are nothing more than vector lines so we'll go ahead and we'll click on the text tool and it usually defaults to Arial black on western with 12 points so we we'll want to just we'll change that to say Times New Roman and we'll make it 15 15 uh, 15 points so now we'll hit done and we've got that text selected then again we click that text tool and we see we have Times New Roman at 15 points and we're good to go on creating that text So now we got our text we've created. And we can size that as well. Or we could paste that on a relief or along a vector or any number of ways. Say we want to make the letters in a little tight and we still have our Times New Roman so we want to make it say 30 30 percent of our spacing on this text we put in the window so now we got it 30 percent we got our parameters set up we hit done now we select our text tool again and those letters will be a lot closer together So you see how we've learned how to put our text down, how to pick our font, and how to how to size our spacing. Or we can actually transform this with our transform tool. We just select our text and hit T is our hotkey to transforming vectors. And we could either go up here and size with the slider bar or we can grab this handle here and turn it rotate it any direction we want or again hit T to transform and we can rotate it with this slider bar if we choose to do so 
and we can also position this anywhere we want or we could designate height or width in these windows so that concludes vector tools 2 thank you